it's Linda here and today I have got a really weeny little project for you um, but it's one I hope you're going to quite like. I did do a video a long time ago for a box which was made um, really in kind of the same way. It had like this faceted lid but it was an awful lot bigger. So what I did was I thought I'd size it right down and do a mini version and it's quite a versatile little box this because I've sized it so that it can hold 40 lights. Um, scented tea lights. So I'll just open this one up. So there we go, it just opens like that. And inside here I have got four scented tea lights. Okay, so it's perfect for those, really good for little craft fairs and things like that. But also, it's good for any number of little treats. You could fill that full of little sweeties, um, Ferrero Rocher chocolate, chocolate truffle, anything. Okay, so anyway, it's a cute little project. I hope that you enjoy it. Um, I'm going to put it side, to one side now and I'm going to show you how you can put one together. So thanks very much for popping along and joining me today. Okay, so today I'm working with... Um, paper from the designer series pack which is called Garden Lane okay and I've cut my 12 by 12 piece down to four and a half inches by six and one eighth so we're going to start off by scoring on the short side so you want to make your first score at one and a half inches and then you're going to score at three and a quarter okay and then turning it around you're just going to score at one and a half at three at four and a half and at six inches. Okay, so what we now want to do, actually, leave it in there. You want to just do some notching. So you're going to notch at three quarters, at two and a quarter, at three and three quarters, and at five and a quarter. And then you're just going to need a ruler and just going to make some score lines in like a zigzag fashion here. So you're going from this corner to your notch and back down to this corner and then all the way along. Okay, so having done that, I'm just going to do a little bit of cutting. So, it might be easy if we... No, I'll do it from here. So, you've got your one and a half inch score line here. So, I'm just going to do a little wedge and then remove that very slim margin there. And then we're just going to cut down each of these scored lines up to that one and a half inch point. Okay, so just leaving that there, I'm just going to put on a few little decorative bits now. And I have used my, whoops, I've used my Be Mine stitch dies, okay, and I've cut out four of these lovely little stitched hearts and that was just made using this little detailed die here with the stitching okay so I'm just going to get these stuck down now onto the centre of each of these panels let those dry off and then I'm just going to go around now and crease my score lines. I'm not going to use a burnish, a bone folder. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we've done that. And now you just want to crease these diagonal score lines. Okay, so just bring that over. Okay. 
Okay. And don't forget this little skinny guy here. Okay, so now you just want a very narrow piece of double sided tape to go down this little margin here. So I'm using, this is sticks too, and this measures three millimetres wide. And it's perfect. It's a perfect fit. Okay, so just pop that there and bring this over and adhere that together. Okay, so this is where you're going to bring in your decorative punch now. So you might not have one, you can get away with just doing like a corner punch. Okay, but I'm using, this is the um, detailed trio punch. And all I'm going to do now is go around each of these corners and punch. So I start off here, I want to push that right in to the very corner there. Okay, and punch. And then just fold your paper and go on to the next one. Okay, a movie confetti. Okay, so it's now looking like that. Okay, so it's ready to pop together. So I'm just going to pop it together. This is the back seam, so it's going to be the back of my box. So I'm going to fold these two in first. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there. Fold that one in and just press them down. You can use double sided tape if you prefer. Okay, so I'm going to push the back one in now to that side and this is the front of the box so that's coming this way. Okay. make sure it's all nicely stuck down and now it's ready for my treat so yep we used um, tea lights in this one for I'm just popping in a Lindor you could put a Ferrero Rocher or you could just fill it up with lots of little sweeties okay so that's just going in there like that and then I'm going to grab my handheld punch here and where's the back again so that's the back of my box. So what I want to do now is punch a hole in the front here and one in the back there. So I'm just coming in round about the centre there, like that. Just going to pinch my box together like that. And I want one on the other side, roughly in the same spot. So I'll just mark that with my pencil round about there. Okay, so now you can see you've got this really pretty sort of faceted lid going on and I'm just going to uh, put some um, ribbon through here and this one is the um, braided linen trim and I just think it's really pretty. Perfect for this project as well. So it's about an eighth of an inch wide. I'm just going to feed myself some through. Okay, so I'm just going to finish off now by embellishing it with a few pearls. So I'm just going to take one and pop it in the front here and in the centre of each of these little hearts. Just think it adds a nice attractive little detail. Okay, so that is my project for today. 
dinky and cute um, and actually quite versatile. I could I could see these being made into little Christmas treat boxes and being hung from your Christmas tree or used as little advent calendars as well. You could line them up with numbers on. So I think, yeah, quite, quite a versatile little box there. Perfect for any little treats you might have, including tea lights, as I used for this one here. Okay, so that's it from me. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't already done so, I, I'd love you to hop over and subscribe to my blog, which is at www.papercraftwithcrafty.co.uk. Um, there you'll find a link to everything I've used for today's project and also a link to my 24-hour online store where I would love you to hop over and shop with me. Um, so that's it for today. I will be back with another project very shortly. Bye for now.